Hello everyone, this is Lady Lena. Happy New Year's to you. I have an important topic to talk about. Um, and the topic is about Africa. And the reason why I chose this topic because there seems to be an identity crisis going on. You have two groups of people or two races of people or nationality of people who claims and believe wholeheartedly that they are Jews. However, what the Bible says that those, there are Jews in the synagogues that are liars. Okay, and I know that you know, as some African American, you know, from the slave trade, they're not in synagogue, synagogue so they can't be lying right now. Um, there are Jews that have synagogues. And this is not to point fingers at anyone or to be negative. This is about getting to the truth. And Jesus said, you know, the truth will set you free. So this is what this topic is all about. This is what this subject is all about. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about Africa. And how did the Jews get into that location um, in that area, okay? According to the Bible, First, let me start in a word of prayer. Oh, precious Father, we'd like to thank you for the ministry of your word. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will just guide our hearts and minds, oh God, and set us at liberty, oh God, and at peace and understanding, oh God, and accept what it is that you will have for us to know. Lord, you said the truth shall set us free, oh God, let us walk in liberty because there has been groups of people got held captive in bondage and oppressed so lord let your word speak to us this day and set us free in jesus name amen hallelujah and so let me share my screen with you i selected this map to start with my illustration on Africa. I chose this map simply because all the key players are present in the in this map. The key players from the past and the key players that's going to be still playing their part in the future. Okay? We have the key players is from the past, the, ch the child, I mean, Babylonian, and I guess uh, it's a little, it's right here, but the Chaldeans, that's where the Jews started from, but we're, I meant to move this over a little bit, but we're just going to move on. Um, but Babylon, who held the Jews captive right here. The Medo-Persia, who held the key, the Jews captive is all scripture was all prophesied by Daniel. We have Greece over here who played their part in Jews having um, occupation over the Jews. And of we have Rome who had um, occupation over the Jews. And of course, we have the, the foot on the statue, and this statue represents uh, Daniel's dream, um, prophetic of what will happen to his people, the Jews. Now, on the feet, um, on this image, represent the, you know, the 10 confederates that's going to be uh, in the last days, in the end times, okay? Um, enforcing, you know, the market of beasts and you know, um, that type, but we're not going to get into that. But right now we're going to get into Africa. Okay. Now Africa is not in 
the Bible. Okay, Africa is not in the Bible, and I believe that is one of the reasons why there's confusion. Okay, what's in the Bible is Libya, Egypt, Chad, and there's Niger. There's a, there's many other nations or groups of people who are in the Bible. And let me show you. See, Libya, Chad, Sudan, Egypt. Algeria, all that is in the Bible. And of course, they are the countries and nations are in the Bible that's on this map. That's the reason why I chose it. Of course, even the seven churches, Asia, mine, all that is in the Bible. Tyree, Sidon. So I love this map. Okay, so let me tell you in the beginning. In this area right here is Mount Ararat. And they believe that the Garden of Eden is in the Bible. It's before God placed the Jews in, the, in that area, any people in that area, he first called the whole world or the area, the earth, the Garden of Eden. And he mentioned some of the rivers that will um, come out from the Garden of Eden in Genesis 13. And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is that that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. So God called that area Ethiopia, Ethiopia, and there's various other scriptures that, you know, that it is, that is coming from, um, that talks about Ethiopia, that, which I will cover later, but not today. I'm just trying to get to the fact that why there is an identity crisis, why there's a confusion. You can't be a certain people that God never talked about. And this is the reason why this confusion, Africa was a name made up. So let's look at who God put in the area. In the sixth chapter of Genesis, verse 10, it says, And Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now, these are the generations of the sons of Noah born after the flood. After the flood was a time where the new civilization began because God destroyed the earth because of people were increasingly evil. So the Lord started all over again. In Genesis 10, chapter 2, the sons of Japheth, which is Gomer, Magog, Madal, Javan, Tuba, Meshach, and Tyrus. So Japheth had seven sons. Seven sons is the Hittite empire. Let me show you where they started their reign, their empire. Japheth started his empire, which is considered Europe. You see that? The Hittite empire. Japheth is the father of the Europeans. Genesis 10 chapter 6 says, and the sons of Ham Cush, Mizram, Put, and Canaan. Okay, so these are the Ham sons. And let me show you where their empire began. Of course, Ham empire began in Africa. And this area right here, 
put Libya. Of course, you will see that the Hittites, um, the Jebusite, and all this area is the um, land of Canaan, which is a son of um, Ham, which God has gave the promise, the promised land to the sons of Sham. And so this is pretty much what the big fight and confusion is all about. <laughs> all the sons want the land for themselves, but the father had given it to one group of people, but they had to walk right in their ways and represent God and put away their idols in order to possess the land. So this is how the name Africa was be misleading people. The people in this area are Ethiopians. This whole area is Ethiopian. Now, when the Roman Catholic Church possessed Christianity, they did away with some things, okay? And slavery had a lot to do with it. To try to, I'm not going to say high things, but uh, just to be very misleading so that... Um, a lot of confusion can go on. So anybody who is answering to being an African, that's a made up term. God has not bore you in any family or any nationality as African. You either a Libyan, Ethiopian, Egyptian, and so on, but an African is not the term and the reason why I said that is because Africa is not in the Bible. Egyptian is Libyan, Put, Chad, Lud, all those leaders are fathers of nations that God recognized. Not man who wants to rewrite history, but history cannot be rewritten okay it has to be uncovered from the hands of man now another term quite interestingly is not in the bible europe europeans they are recognized as hittites they are not to be called european but Quite frankly, they are the ones who had the pen in the rule, and they changed some things. Now, believe it or not, Shem, who had God given him his land, was started out in Asia, okay? East Asia. They did not change that. So there was some type of mishap going on between the Europeans and the Africans. I don't know it all right now, but I know this is where the problem has started. This is the root of the problem. So let me share something else with you. This is the empire of Sham. Genesis 10, 22, the children of Sham is Elam, Asher, Arafaxad, Lud, and Aram. Now, let me tell you what the Lord said about at least two of the nat other nations of people. Now, we know after the flood, Ham has exposed or mocked his father. He saw him naked and laughed. And the Bible reads that Japhat and his brother <clears throat> Shem had covered up their fathers naked and Ham is the nation 
that been cursed. And because of JFAC, JFAC's action, the Lord said, and um, Shem action, the Lord said in Genesis 9, 27, God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servants. Okay? In Genesis chapter 9, 25, after Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of the father. He told his two brothers and in Genesis 25, I'm sorry. He said, curse be Canaan. A servant of servants shall be unto his brother. And he said, blessed be the Lord God of Sham and Canaan shall be his servant. Again, God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem. And Canaan shall be his servant. So there you have it. Um, this just a brief introduction on how the civilization started and where they was placed in various places on the globe. And What's interesting to me is that when God said, God shall enlarge Japheth and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem and Canaan shall be his servant. And so even though Shem is the chosen race because God has chose them out of their family. He chose them out of the land of Ur. He chose them from being part of Canaan and part of Ham and a part of Japheth. But they have to walk a certain way. But God said Japheth is going to dwell in the tents of Shem. Wow, that blows that blows my mind because I'm like, Japheth is doing pretty good right now. So it seems to me, it appears that this is where the race or the nationality of the Jews or Shem should be. But that's not the case. That's not the case. That, that's, that's not the case. So this is just a brief introduction. I'm going to come back and get in more um, and talk about Cush and Nimrod, the sons of Ham, because they are very, very important in this movement in the Bible. Okay, so thank you for your attention. Please join me later. I'm going to try to come back as often as I can and just do a brief summary of, you know, what's going on so that there, there, it should be no one that has an identity um, issues. You should know who you are. And even I, I should know who I am. I, I should know what God says about me. So we're going to leave with this thought that Africa is not in the Bible. Libya, Chud, Put, I mean, those nations are in the Niger. Those nations are in the Bible. European, Europe. Europeans are not in the Bible. They are Hittites. Okay? Ethiopians, Libyans, Nigerians, they are in the Bible. They are in the Bible and they are sons and daughters of Put. Ham, descendants of Ham. but they're not the Jews. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.